Howdy folks, my name is Damon from RC Scale Models and today we're going to be taking a look at another kit. This one's from Academy, this is their 148 scale Corsair. Uh, the movie's just been released uh, on the Corsair and Korean War Devotion, which is about two pilots, uh, Thomas Hudner and Jesse Brown, based on a true story. Um, this kit and this build I'm going to be doing for this is going to be a tribute to those guys. Uh, sadly, Jesse Brown didn't make it, um, so let's get into this one. So pretty standard size, I was imagine for 48 scale aircraft. So this is a re-release. Um, so these are the four schemes. The two top ones is Jesse Brown and Thomas Hartner's aircraft from the movie and whatever. And the two bottom aircraft are from the Royal Marines. So pick your choosing. I have two of these kits. Obviously what I want to build both Thomas and Brown's aircraft and it's going to be a tribute built to, to them. This is all the colours required and if you're interested the kit number is 12353 148 scale Corsair. This is a quite a sturdy box, stiff. Um, this is loaded with plastic. It's not a highly detailed kit, but it's more than enough. Than I think it's going to be a nice, nice, nice build. Uh, I have seen this kit in the past, um, so we have our wing sections. Then we have fuselage, cockpit, fuel tanks, canopy, and then the last two sprues: your bombs, rockets, engine detail. So there isn't a ton of parts. What I do like is the wheels are one piece, and then you've got your instructions and markings. Academy markings are pretty damn good, they're all okay. The only downfall is the stencil for the cockpit, is you just get the dials, but there's no sorry, you get the, the bezels, but no actual dials, so you'd have to do something about that. A couple of warnings, and that's about it. Let's get into it. So as always, we, we will look at the instructions. So this is what you get, it is, is a black and white print. You've got your symbols to uh, pay attention to, all your colour callouts. There's no uh, Tamir, I don't believe. Um, you've got most of the other colours. Uh, a Tamir don't do the actual navy blue colour. I don't think I even have the blue colour myself, I might have to buy that. Um, So the very first step is working with the wings and just adjusting a couple of parts. Upper and lower wing section to be put together, which is very simple. And then you've got your very basic engine detail, a little bit of wiring, should spruce that up a little bit. Basic cockpit seat and bulkheads. Um, there is a quinter set out for this. That might be very handy just to spruce this up a little bit. Sandwiching it all together, which is basic for World War II aircraft and aircraft in general. Wings and stuff, they're all basically the, uh, the flaps and ailerons are all moulded in. So, as I say, you can't repose the ball. It is a very simple build, but the kit is nice overall. Landing gear, left and right. Your bombs, which is optional. Rockets, again, is optional. Um, I will be putting the rockets on because they use the rockets in the uh, Korean War and stuff. This is your rocket layout. Uh, landing gear doors. We have the uh, prop, uh, four bladed, uh, basic. The uh, tail uh, dragger wheel at the back and the doors. And obviously the rest of the hook as well. Canopy, open or closed. And then your paint scheme. So you've got um, Jesse Brown's aircraft, 112, uh, sorry, uh, 2211, sorry, Navy. It's from USS Leyte aircraft carrier. And Thomas Hudner was based on the same aircraft, which is, uh, sorry, this one in the bottom here is uh, his aircraft, which is a uh, 205 from same aircraft carrier, USS Leyte. 
So as I say, I'll be doing those two guys as a tribute. But if you don't want to do those, you've got a uh, Marine version, number 9, and number 21, Marines. Uh, it is called out for navy dark blue, but I don't have that type of colour. And then all your sprues within the kit. So this is the decal sheet. Uh, nicely printed, not too thick. There is a little bit of camera film around all the numbers and letters. They are on the glossy side, but I think they will work nicely. Now that's the kit parts. Kit parts. So this sprue here contains bombs and some of the rockets. So pretty good. Nicely done. Then we have another sprue of some other type of rocket. These ones are slightly different. And then this sprue here contains engine detail wings, doors, one piece wheels. There is a little bit of ejector pin on the either end, which is there, which is sadly. But they are molded with one piece, one piece wings as well, and flaps. Landing gear doors. Very basic engine detail, but it's more than enough. I think that will work nicely. You don't see an awful lot inside this cowling anyway, because it's quite such a tight fit. More doors. There is a couple of jetter pins on the end you have to take care of, and these ones are easy to sand out. Landing gear legs. Um, there's your pilot seat, so it will need upgrading a little bit. This one is the body fuselage. So in here as well we do get, get our canopy. It's nicely moulded. There is a little bit of a blur to it. But not too bad. These sprues are pretty much similar but not quite. So your fuselage, drop tanks. There's obviously two of those. Um, I don't think you need two. I'm not sure. Nice Propellers and blades, four bladed prop, the cowling, uh, copy of detail. So that's what you get for instrument panel. But again, it's very basic, it will need upgrading slightly. Here's your drop tank. Now, your fuselage halves, the detail looks not too bad. As I say, this is not no new kit or anything, this is a re release. But it should be, should make a nice little build. The uh, blades, the uh, rest of the hook and the tail, tail wheel. And you have a fuselage half, is basically the other side. Nice kind of detail again. Again, that's the cockpit tub. We'll need spruce, spruce, uh, sprucing up a little bit. Engine cowling and the other half of the tanks, so it's not too bad. And now just do a uh, nice gold wing upper and lower. So upper and lower wing section, very basic again, but as I say, it's just a simple kit at the end of the day. It's not too expensive. It should make a nice simple build. So that's pretty damn good. Upper wing section. Nice. So there you are my friends, another kit from Academy. It's a pretty nice kit overall. 
it's very basic as I say it's based off the movie devotion and real life story it's got the two guys in the kit uh, Thomas Hudner and Jesse Brown as I say Jesse Brown didn't make it uh, he had to crash land his aircraft um, he was hit by flak and they tried to save him but sadly he didn't make it um, so yeah as I say, this is going to be a tribute build to, to those two guys because they're in the kit. Um, are they cashing in on the movie and stuff like that? Possibly, but nonetheless. Um, so check out the uh, upcoming kit soon for this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.